Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I took my 300 Weatherby to the range and I wanted to do a little bit of a, an experiment. Now, I have heard before that a muzzle brake affects your velocity in a negative way. Now, I wasn't for sure if how true that was, so I decided to load up my Weatherby, 300 Weatherby with 175 grain LRX with IMR7828 and we're shooting 83 grains and I'm going to do three shots with the brake on and three shots without the brake to see if there's a difference and how big of a difference. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Now I've had a few people tell me that a muzzle brake will make your velocity be a little bit lower and so I thought it'd be fun to see if that is true in this case with my 300 Weatherby. I also want to give a big shout out to one of my subscribers for coming. Uh, came to the range with me, uh, shot some of his rifles, and then he filmed this, and he also brought his brother. So, of course, I had to give him and his brother the opportunity to shoot a 300 Weatherby for the first time, and of course, I'm going to have him shoot it without the break. <laughs> Thirty-three oh four. Maybe over here to take some pictures. That muzzle blast. A little pressure. A little. Yeah. Is it? Thirty-two eighty four. I dropped the biggest number. Did you not shoot? That's a nice sword. Oh, I guess it's not that big of a sword. Oh, Kayla shot. Thirty-two seventy-six. Let's get these numbers on paper and see how it did with the average velocity, the standard deviation, and extreme spread. Okay, the first shot, as you know, was thirty-three oh four. Second shot, thirty-two eighty-four, and third shot, thirty-two seventy-six, and that turned out to be an average velocity of three thousand two hundred and eighty-eight feet per second. So it was moving. Energy right at 4,200 foot pounds. Then let's look at standard deviation 11.77. You know, it's not bad. I would prefer to have it below 10, but it's not bad. An extreme spread of 28. Again, not too terrible. Let's see now how it does without the break. Oh, is that the one that the came out of this? Oh, yeah. oh that was a bad show. Hmm. 3267 on the velocity. 32? 3267. 3269. That's two feet per second different. Just don't shoot at the steel target, it might go through it. Now let's go ahead and look at the numbers with the break off. Uh, first shot, 3,267 feet per second, so not a huge difference. Second shot, 3,269, which is great standard deviation. And then my third shot kind of ruined my deviation at 3,295 feet per second. And the average velocity came to 3,277 feet per second with the 175 LRX. Energy, just a little bit below it, 4,174 foot-pounds. And standard deviation, 12.75. Extreme spread, exact same, of 28. So there is a little bit of a difference. I'm not sure if it's a big enough difference to really say, hey, a muzzle brake increases your velocity. Yeah, it does the opposite of, you know, as what I thought. I, I don't know if there's a big enough difference. It's basically 11 feet per second. So I would say there really isn't much of a difference. And if there is, there's a bit of an advantage with the brake on.